voted for it to go into effect more than seven years ago, but Santa Fe residents are still waiting for their new ranked voting system. In City Council tonight, people debated whether it can be ready to use for the first time in Santa Fe's mayoral election in March next year. News 13's Lizay Mitri is live at City Hall in Santa Fe. Lizay. Jessica, just minutes ago, actually, the council voted six to three against using that new system for that election. That's a big election because that is when the city will choose a mayor who will be full time with a higher salary. And people who wanted this system sooner rather than later say it will make sure every vote counts. If your favorite candidate gets eliminated because they got the least amount of votes on the first round, your second choice candidate counts as your vote. So you don't ever have to feel like you wasted a vote. Lots of people showed up to speak at the Santa Fe City Council meeting tonight. Instead of just voting for one candidate, as she said, voters would rank them, choosing their first, second, and third picks so they can have instant runoffs. Santa Fe residents voted for that system to go into effect in 2010, but the city has been waiting for that for voting machines that can count ranked votes. Now they have them, but critics are concerned that there's not enough time to properly test and certify the equipment and educate voters on how it all works before the election in March next year. I want you to be mindful of your city clerk. She will not state this, but I will. It takes time to run an election. We are governed by laws. We have to do things right. The mayor selected in the March 2018 election will make a salary of $110,000. That's compared to the current mayor who's part time making just under 30,000. Jessica, back to you. All right, thank you, Lose. Councilors voted last month to delay ranked choice, choice voting before bringing it back up for